Okay, everybody, we are starting this meeting now. This is the Ladies Let's Go Fishing virtual meeting. Uh, I know we've got more people that are going to be um, chiming in as they come. If you're watching this on Facebook, get on our email list to join our next meeting. I will not be able to see your comments because um, it will be kind of too distracting while I'm speaking. So mm -hmm. I'm going to start with a little bit about Ladies Let's Go Fishing. And we have our speaker here, Jamie Burnett from Egret Bates. And she's waving right now. And Brian Leibowitz may be joining us later, who is our speaker for our Dania Beach or South Florida freshwater seminar coming up this weekend. Uh, Ladies Let's Go Fishing is designed for beginners with a curriculum to learn, practice, go fishing with social networking, fish on the water, fish on land, depending on which one. It's a full circle event. The next event is this weekend, February 26th. We have a freshwater bass seminar, South Florida in Dania Beach, just south of Fort Lauderdale, Florida, where you fish, you learn about bass fishing and freshwater fishing in the morning from Captain Brian Lebowitz. Then you rig up your rod, uh, we have uh, lunch, and then after lunch, you get to fish on a private lake that's known for its peacock bass. Uh, it has other bass. Peacock bass are a targeted fish that people travel from all over the world because they are only available in warm water, which is pretty much South Florida, unless you want to go to South America. March 26th to the 27th is our South Gulf Coast Saltwater Weekend Inshore Seminar in Fort Myers. But let me backtrack to the, the freshwater seminar. Um, we have three spots left, maximum is 20. It's a Bass Pro Shops from Dania Beach. The lake is right behind there. Let's go back to um, Fort Myers. We have about seven spots left. That is a full day seminar on inshore and backcountry fishing with Captain John Fetter. Debbie Hansen, Rob Fusnecker, and again, we have the hands-on skill practice where you can learn knot tying, net casting, spin casting, fly casting on Saturday, and then Sunday is the fishing day. We're running low on fishing slots, but if you sign up for what you want, we will do our best to accommodate it. Then we go offshore, Fort Lauderdale, May 6th through the 8th. This is um, a full day seminar on offshore fishing, um, how to deep water, how to catch the big ones, um, trolling, bottom fishing, different techniques. Full day seminar again with a hands-on practice like I mentioned for the Gulf Coast seminar on Saturday. We have a little meet and greet on Friday. It's at the BFW off State Road 84. Then Sunday is a half day fishing. Now, for all of our fishing, you pay for that separately if it's on a boat, because that money goes to the charter captains. The offshore seminar is the least expensive fishing that we have, because we are close to the Gulf Stream here. And in a half day, you can go out, try trolling, bottom fishing, maybe even kite fishing for sail fishing and be back in time for lunch. Then June 24th to the 26th, we'll be in the Florida Keys, Isla Mirada for our screaming reels, fishing and learning on the water. We'll be giving away prizes. There's no seminar. There's fishing Saturday, full day, Sunday, three quarter day, inshore or offshore, and you can switch it. And then we have prizes when you come back to the dock on Sunday. Uh, that is $89 registration. And let me tell you what, these charters boats in the Keys are in high demand. So. If you want to fish in the Keys, sign up really early because I don't want to disappoint the people that sign up last minute. The charters aren't waiting for us to book. You know, they will take another charter if we don't have their boat full. Uh, then we have September 23rd through the 24th, the Guy Harvey Outpost Bass Fishing Seminar and Tournament at Cap Mac in Lake Wales, Florida. That's somewhere near Orlando. That's limited to 12 ladies. There's only, I don't know, it's about a third sold out already. And you fish from pontoon boats for bass on Saturday. You learn on Friday. And then there's a, like a bonfire party, a captain's meeting, 
and they give away awards. Last year, um, we only have 12 slots available, six per pontoon boat, five to six. And one of the lady, one of the pontoon boats, every lady from the pontoon boat got a nice award to take home. It's really fun. It will sell out. Then we have November 19th to the 20th, our St. Augustine Surf Fishing Academy. That is uh, fishing on the beach on Saturday, maybe Sunday, and a night of lights golf cart optional tour where they light up St. Augustine from the rooftops to the ground. Uh, that day, we're still waiting to hear from St. Augustine area as far as when they are going to be starting the night of lights, but it, it, it's absolutely fabulous. So that's that's what we're that's what's going on at Ladies Let's Go Fishing. We are working on a silent auction. Anticipated date is March second through the 9th. You all should bid. There's fishing trips, fishing gear, tackle, and a lot of it goes for minimum or close to minimum, and they're all really great deals. So that's it about Ladies Let's Go Fishing. Jamie, if you're ready, I would ready. like to bring you up and talk about egret baits. And we have um, baits that just came in for your donation for Ladies Let's Go Fishing. <laughs> One of these are voodoo hats. Maybe you could start with what is the name voodoo and why, <laughs> um, why voodoo? And maybe voodoo is like magic for catching fish. Yeah, I'll give you a little history, absolutely. Um, for those that aren't familiar with our product, Voodoo, Egret is our mother company. Voodoo Brands, because we are Louisiana-based and Cajun, a lot of our lures are named after Cajun or South Louisiana things. Um, Voodoo Shrimp was our very first product that we brought on the market in 2012. And it's made out of a different type of plastic. Um, Regardless of how long you've been fishing, I know a little, a little zoom or a gulp is made out of a polyplastic. Our lures are made out of TPE, which is an abbreviation for thermoplastic elastomers. It is a very, very tough plastic, like you would find in your tennis shoe soles or your IV tubes, and it breathes differently. Our packs retail for... <laughs> $8.49 a pack. There's two almost in everything that we make with the exception of a few items that are just single. But you can catch 40 to 50 fish with that one lure. So one pack and you're set for the season. We target trout, redfish, and flounder. We do know that they'll catch peacock bass. They'll catch stripers. They'll catch snook. They'll catch tarpon. But because we stand behind our product 100%, we only advertise those three fish so that if something happens with your fish while you're fishing, a puffer fish bites the tail off, you get into some lady fish, you email me and say, hey, I lost my tail, I'll send you a new one. So I have been with the company since 2004 and I can pretty much answer anything that you have. And Betty's gonna show some of the items that we sent for your training seminars and I'll tell you a little bit about what makes them special, what fish they target. And then if you have any questions, I'm happy to answer them. Okay, what I'm gonna do is hold up what I have and then you could go back to, um, we're gonna start with the shrimp since we talked okay. about All right, this is... Um, that is a weedless? Yes, that is a weedless shrimp. Now they're... They are not a clear shrimp like our normal standard are. Most of them are a little bit milky and their tail is flat so that when you're casting and the hook is on top, so it's weedless, it floats down and flutters down into the water and into the grass. That is the difference and it is three and a half inches. And then here's what green one. What, why do you know what color to use? That's a lime trace. Well, you're gonna look at your water. The darker the water, the darker the color. Okay. And then, um, oh, here's a shad. Hang on. I had my, all my shrimp. Here's an orange one. Okay. Now that looks like a three and a quarter standard shrimp. That's our standard size. It's three and 3.25 inches. 
It's a quarter ounce. They come pre-rigged. All you have to do is tie them on. You can freehand, but most people prefer to use them under a popping cork. And then here's little baby shrimp, because you know what? Those Sometimes are, fish are eating on smaller shrimp and your shrimp are too big. Oh, yes, they are. And we have tremendous results. We actually expanded four new colors in our two inch and we have a really great glow model in the two inch if you're fishing under lights or off a dock. Okay, and then let me hold this up to show, can you see how flexible and pliable these are? and how the, the tail has like little little chunks. So when, when it's in the water, you can pull it up and move it like a shrimp. Like, so, so like, I think what you do is you cast it, you let it drop to the bottom and maybe pull it up and let it move because it's got this tail that's gonna have some action. And, right. and if out. you pull that tail, Betty, if you'll pull it, you can see that it has a nylon weave inside that makes it so durable. I mean, it just, I have people that'll pull and pull and pull and you can't pull it apart. And let me tell you about um, artificial shrimp because I once fished a, um, a tournament with um, oh, some celebrity and there was a live division and an artificial division. And what I can tell you is we won it. Um, um, and because we were catching larger fish with the artificials than the people with live shrimp. But I have a feeling that there's enough for everybody. If you want live, if you want artificial, if you want ours, if you want someone else, there's enough anglers, there's enough fish for everybody to be happy. Right, and the thing about artificials is you can use them over and over again. So many Absolutely. times we go to buy live shrimp and they're like so itty bitty and, um, you know, with, with these, you know, they're, they're hardy. They're really cool. Really cool. And they're called voodoo. Okay. So, um, any more comments on shrimp? Let's go to voodoo. Let's go to the shad. So I have a whole bunch of shads and then I'm going to pull one out. Um, I'm going to start with the small ones. Um, here's green and one that has like uh, sparkles and clear, all right. So the Voodoo Shad is new. It's been out for about three years and it is a great little versatile bait. It's very popular along the Louisiana, Texas, Mississippi, Georgia, Alabama coast with kayakers. Um, it's also fabulous for freshwater striper fishing on an Alabama rig. Uh, we targeted this particular type of lure, the three, four, five, and six inch for East Coast striper fishing. And it's just kind of taken off in other places. It's also made with TPE. It also has the nylon weave in the tail. And it's a value in the three and four inch because you get three of them per package instead of just two. Here's a couple more three inches. And you know what I like about them? And I'm gonna pull them out of the package in a minute, but um, they have these paddle tails which um, Michelle, tell me like, do you drop them to the bottom or do you reel them across the surface or is it different? Purpose? Just cast and reel it back. It'll do the work for you. You don't have to know how to, how to bring it in or work a certain pattern. It does the work for you. And here are some big shads. Here's a four. Oh yeah. And a five oh yeah. Inch. And I, and I, I think- I'm putting I, it in front of my shirt. There we go. I think for next year, we're gonna be bringing out an even bigger model for a little bit further off in the blue water. Uh, but those are excellent for stripers. And right now up in the panhandle of Florida, they're using them a lot for, uh, for a offshore tournament. And gosh, that name has just slipped me only because I'm under pressure right now. If I think about it, I'll tell you in a minute. Um, great value, great TPE. Um, nine dollars for a pack of two you can fish all summer long okay and then let me show you um the action of these shads all right again um maybe if i put it in front of my shirt okay so you can pull them but they they have like a ribbed tail so when you when you're fishing when you're fishing i mean pull it back a little bit. 
So the paddle tail makes this motion and it actually, it actually looks like a fish. Let me do this, like a fish. That's what's special about these. They're not a just segmented flat, tail. straight, you know what I mean? They, they, Absolutely. Move, they move like a fish. And when they're in the water, um, I'll hold it like this. They actually look like a fish. Can you all see that? I hope. So they come in different sizes. And um, I have them kind of all over the place here. Okay. And then what about mullet? Oh, gosh. I'm glad you got to that. Now, that is what you guys want to use. That is what you guys want to use in your area. I'm telling you what. The, that three and a half model is killer on your peacock bass, or you can use it for uh, redfish inshore. It is weighted in the middle. It's got treble hooks. They come one per pack. But that nylon weave that's in their segmented tail is a little bit thicker. So it creates a serpentine pattern when you're pulling it through the water. All you have to do is cast it and retrieve and it mimics a bait fish. And the pad printing that we have for the colors is, it's a very unique system. It's a picture of a fish that's on, it looks like a giant marshmallow and we just barely taps down on the bait to put that color. So it looks so lifelike. And I sell more of the voodoo mullet in Florida than I do anywhere else in the United States. Well, let me tell you what, we've been out in the boat and trying to catch mullet with a cast net. Oh, it can take hours because yes, you can. think they're coming and you're waiting and then they don't go by your boat and you can't chase them because they run. I mean, like you get frustrated because you're spending more time catching bait than fishing, which, which, oh. you know, that's the way it sometimes, you know, you got to do that. But, um, for these, all right. Um, sure. they're, one they're has, excellent. One the has, Mambo, the Mambo is different. I'll tell you about that in a second. I want you to take it out of the package so I can demo what makes it special. Okay. And it's great for speckled trout and it's really good for flounder. Okay, I got okay, it. The Mambo has what we, it's made out of the TPE as well. It does not have the nylon weave, but if you'll turn it facing the camera, uh, put the head towards you, Betty, and turn it around. You can see that in the back, it has reverse hydro cups. So when you're pulling it through the water, the water is catching those cups and making it twist back and forth. And it's an excellent little bait. It's an excellent little bait. If I were a fish, I would eat this because this thing has so <laughs> much action. It's so easy. And you don't have to, you just cast it and retrieve. You don't have to know any certain motion. You don't have to count how far down it's going. You just cast it, reel it back in and get your fish. Yeah, I mean, and treble hooks are nice, but you know, I like this because it has one hook. And sometimes if you catch a fish, you want to release it. It's, yeah, hard it's a lot easier. Free it's hooks. hard with the treble. Yeah, you know, with this, it's a lot easier to release. Um, uh, this one, uh, this one does have treble hooks, so there are, you know, sometimes treble hooks. Oh, the, mom, the mullet, yes, it does. But like I said, it is our number one bait in Florida, and wow. the mambo's fabulous. And then, what colors does this come in? Oh gosh, we probably have twelve, if not fifteen. Copper so penny, opening night, silver with a gray back, uh, lime truce, injured, black and chartreuse tail, Creole magic, Cajun pepper. We've got a ton. Yeah, I mean, sometimes um, I've heard that like a little bit of red in the lore makes it look injured. And that's what we do for our injured colors. Yeah, so right behind the ear where it looks like, or the gill where it looks like it's bleeding. And you may not know this, but like, what do you need between this and your rod? Like, like, is it 12 pound test? Do you need a leader for maybe the bigger lures? Do you happen to know that? The only reason we would suggest a leader is if you're wanting added weight to get it out further when you cast it, or if you've got a strong current. If not, just tie it on and go. Yeah, and for those that don't know what a leader is, it's a piece of line 
at the end of your line that goes between that and your lure and your bait. And it's usually um, fluorocarbon or something heavier. And what that does is if you get a toothy fish or say a snook that has um, sharp gills, you usually want your leader to be about the length of the fish you're trying to catch and um, you know heavier than your pound test line. So you don't get broken off um, and you don't have to give up your lure. Right, exactly. And what are like the price points of these lures? Everything that we, part. oh no, I, it's very easy. We do very easy pricing. Everything that we sell is $8.49 with the exception of the five and six inch voodoo shad, which is nine fifty six, And that's it. It doesn't matter if it's a two inch or if it's a four inch, same price. And um, how did you become, um, what do you do for, for um, egret and what's it like to be a woman in, in kind of a man's world. I mean, it's fisherman, right? Well, you, no you, fisherwoman word. Oh yeah, yeah. Um, you know, there it is. Times are changing, and I get a lot more respect than I used to. Starting out, um, I could answer a question for someone, and then they would turn around and ask the gentleman next to me to confirm that I knew what I was talking about. But now that I've been in the industry for so long um, and we attend trade shows, I just, I know so many people now that they'll take your word for it. But there was a time that I could answer the same as my boss, but they would listen to my boss and not me. Um, it's just a very easy field to be in. I never thought that I would be doing this ladies, never. I grew up on a freshwater lake in Oklahoma on Lake Tenkiller. My parents owned a resort there. So at 11 years old, they bought the resort and I learned how to dip minnows and bag ice. And for college, I got away as fast as I could. Now living in Texas, I live about four miles from Lake Sam Rayburn, which is one of the number one bass lakes in Texas. So I don't get to saltwater fish as much as I used to, but we crappie and bass fish all the time. Um, it's just, it's not a necessity, but we were able to keep our jobs through all of the pandemic because if you couldn't work, you went fishing. So, so it's, it's, it's gotten harder with the social media, as you mentioned, Betty, you know, not everybody is on there, but we monitor everyone. We check out ladies, let's go fishing Facebook page. Did they get our donation? Did they like our stuff? We sent them, uh, we manage staff and, uh, so I wear many hats, but I'm blessed to be able to work at home. So that that's really nice. And our warehouse is about an hour away if I need to go there. Great. And thank you for the package. Um, Absolutely. It's our pleasure. Yeah, we're getting to the raffle shortly, but um, the package is going to include a pack of three inch voodoo shad in Cajun pepper, two inch voodoo ship, uh, shrimp in Bayou Brew. Brew. Um, Bye, you brew. Mm -hmm. brew. Um, free voodoo shrimp in Ocean Hornet. That must be green. Green Hornet. And uh, green Hornet. Green Hornet. Oh, and it is, it is, it's a new color and it is great. And 3.5 inch voodoo shrimp in Gold Tiger. Mm -hmm. And new wedge tail colors. I don't have a wedge tail in um, Texas Roach, Texas Tea, and Blue Crab. Uh, and also a voodoo decal and a wedge, uh, wedge tail decal and a voodoo hat that probably looks like this. Absolutely. Absolutely. Those wedge tails, um, maybe in the future, I'll send you some more. Wedge tails are a non-TPE plastic. They're just a traditional poly plastic, but they're also a patented item. They're 3.5 inch and the tail, the way the tail is made, it creates a thumping vibration. So when oh. you cast it and you reel it back, you can feel it thumping. And what it does is it really just aggravates the fish and drives them to strike. And we've got over 20 colors in that right now and making new colors for the fall to come out. So Betty, remind me about that in a couple of months when we have them all and I'll send you guys some and uh, you can hand them out to try and use them for test. 
Okay, and also like, can you troll these? I would think with the action. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. They're trolling those for stripers right now like crazy and sending me pictures of 20 and 30 fish every day when they go out. Well, we troll for snook and um, chocolosky. Um, redfish usually are on the bottom, but the yeah. snooker, you know, the way their eyes are, I mean, they're looking up at the top. I mean, even a tarpon might bite on it. A but, tarpon um, will. Um, but you can't tell me that's what you caught on it because I can't advertise that the tarpons are cat that you're catching tarpon on it. Because then I'll have a bunch of upset tarpon fishermen if they bite it in two. Because they're they're tough as hell is our is our motto, but they're not indestructible. Hey, that's what it is. You know what I mean? That's why you always go out with a lot of lures in your arsenal. And um, you know, I kind of like trolling sometimes because um you can like, especially like when you're um, just casting and casting, I mean, you get hungry and tired. Yeah. When you're trolling, you just like sit back and we take the rods and we pull it up, let it back, pull it up, let it back. But, um, you know, you can relax a little bit. The captain can relax because he's not Absolutely. like baiting all your stuff. And um, so, you know, I usually like to, I mean, you know, depending on the conditions, like I fish in Chukalotsky, the Florida Everglades area, and uh, around Highlands Beach, sometimes we will troll for snook because there's little troughs that they hang out there in. There are. They might be there, they might not, but then you get to see the scenery. So there's some cool things about trolling. Betcha. You I betcha. Mean, the, shrimp, the shrimp you wouldn't troll. That would be the shad. No, no, it would be the shad. It would be the shad or, um, shad. yeah, pretty much the shad. So um, what's nice is, you know, you know, if you can't catch live bait um, and don't want to be bothered with bait wells, keeping them alive and all that stuff and all the time it takes to catch live bait. I mean, Voodoo makes products that are, that look like live bait. I can tell you, um, uh, that's why I was low. I have a box I put in the front of my classroom where um, I have demonstration like lures. So if the speaker is speaking and he says, oh, this lure is good, we didn't bring one. I'm like, okay, here's one. So I, I know even in the offshore seminar, offshore, okay. Um, I mentioned the voodoo shad and shrimp. I pulled them up and the instructor went nuts and just about cleaned me out. He's like, I use voodoo stuff all the time. He uses it offshore fishing have um an owner of a tackle shop in mobile that bought all, a, a ton of our four inch jumbo voodoo shrimp and he and his wife take it out to the short rigs and they catch ling all day long so you know if a fish isn't going to back off and say oh i'm not supposed to bite you so uh never never be afraid to try it for wherever you are yeah so they're also good for offshore um i was fishing in the keys and uh, there were big weed lines. And my husband just doesn't like to stop and cast the weed lines. So I wait for him to go to sleep. I take over oh. the helm <laughs> and I do what I want to do. Okay. And we went by this weed line and I had a voodoo shrimp. And it was, you know, like a um, probably a white, more like this one here. Okay. So. That's all I had. I was just screwing around. So I cast it to the weed line and this big dolphin must have been 40 pounds oh. came out and he followed, he was following the shrimp lure. I mean, he was just interested. Oh my. I woke up my husband and he starts screaming. He's like, oh my God, we got to get stuff. We got to get stuff because my tackle wasn't big enough for a dolphin that size. I didn't have the line test or anything. Holy cow. So when he got up, then he really freaked out because I threw it again. All right, this is off offshore in the Keys, you know, just at the edge, you know, the Gulf Stream. So I threw it again and a marlin came up. And, no. Oh, uh, yeah. The marlin came up and he chased the lure. I mean, of course, my tackle wasn't big enough, but just to see him and it was one of those blue clear the, the ocean was gin clear. oh i bet and the marlin came and he laid on his side and he was lit up you could see all his stripes and everything and like we were screaming because oh, he was what a fabulous day yeah. Oh, yeah 
yeah so um, that's great it's, it's always good to have just something like that on your boat um so let me open up to the ladies if you want to ask a question from jamie um just unmute yourself and i'm going to put it on gallery view and um this is your chance ladies and robert and thanks robert um i have a question yes ma'am um, you mentioned something about the color of the water um <laughs> determining what color you picked I missed something there and I um, so I we go out near um the 10,000 islands uh my husband and I and a few friends joined the a boat club so we get to go out a few times a week and I actually nice. just took it up when I retired and it was during COVID so I awesome. knew but I am addicted and I love it so I need to learn, you know, I mean, I fish with someone who's experienced and he, we use live shrimp. So we kind of break them up, which is hard for me to do so, but to put it on and I end up like, that's not my favorite kind of fishing. I like to throw something out and reel it in. And so, but I don't know what I'm doing. I just kind of, I mean, the biggest fish I caught was a schnook and it's just because I, I, I tried to think like a fish and I, ended up throwing it way in the where the water was dark and it just so happened to be deep enough. And I mean, it was really gigantic. It was so exciting, but That's I wonderful. don't really know what I'm doing. So the thing with the but color of learning. the water, the, huh? You're learning and that's okay. I'm learning. So that's yes. why when you said the color of the water, um, you know, we usually do off, you know, stand on one of the islands and just stand there for hours and fish. Um, but you know, I just wondered what you meant, like. Okay, so not to make it too confusing, it's not rocket science. So don't, okay. don't worry about it. The water is gonna change for your seasons. You can have yeah. something that's crystal, crystal clear and your fish are gonna hit more on clearer types of lures. You can have a murky water. You can have a, what they call a tea water or a stained water, which mm -hmm. is you probably won't see that where you're located or where you're fishing, but up further, like in the mouth of a river as it's coming out, um, it could be stained or it could be darker. So a darker colored lure, like in stained water, you'd want a root beer, but in a crystal clear, you're going to want a crisp, you're going to want more of a clear lure. Hmm. Does that make sense? It never yeah. made sense to me that you'd want a darker for dark and a lighter yeah. for light, but yeah. fish aren't just seeing, they're sensing. Yeah. And then when they see they're, they're, they can see a darker lure in the darker water. Yeah. Oh, so yeah. Don't, I mean, don't go out know. in your boat and go, oh my gosh, what kind of water is this? You know, looking, yeah. but in general, the different, the darker the water, the darker the lure. Hmm. Thank you. That makes You're sense. You're very I mean, welcome. That was a great question. Great yeah. question. That makes sense. Great. Well, I wish you the best of luck. I Thank hope you, you win the raffle. Maybe you can try some of us. <laughs> I do need a new fishing pole because I've been, he's been giving me, you know, he has so many. And uh, I can share. So I'm going to. I'm going to buy one if I don't win one. So. Okay, there you go. There yeah. you go. Well, thank you very much. That was a great question. Anybody Anywhere? else have a question? I had a question. Yes. Uh, Hi. Not, not so much a, a question, but I, I'm Deidre, and this is my first time attending someone. I joined a boat club also, uh -huh. Freedom Boat Club, and I go out a couple of times a, a week as well, except for lately because it's been so windy. And I just want to learn how to fish. And so someone suggested I get in touch with this group. And so I've been getting your emails and things like that. So that's why I'm here. Great, great. <laughs> Betty has a great program and she will fix you up. Okay, great. Fix you up, absolutely. I got, I got the boat. I just need to know what kind of- um, oh, There you go. Rods to get and stuff like that, yeah. And I just okay. moved here, so I don't know that many people, so. Where do you Wonderful. live and what kind of boat? I, I, I joined the Freedom Boat Club, but I usually take out the um, Kobe. It's a 22 foot Cobia dual console, 200 horsepower. Um, and I live on the beach and be on, on A1A between Commercial and um, Atlantic Boulevard. So there's a dock literally right across the street and I just go over there or I go to Lighthouse Point. But since they opened up this one, I very rarely go up to Lighthouse Point. 
to That's get the awesome. boat. Yeah. Because nice. um, Freedom Freedom Boat Club is one of our sponsors. I have our oh, okay. sponsors behind me now. Okay, and that's who told me about it. One of the members at Freedom Boat Club told me about this group. But normally you meet on Wednesday nights, and I can't meet on Wednesdays or one either Mondays we or go. Wednesdays, and I never could join. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we have. Um, um, they're a good sponsor because this gives the ladies a chance to get out on the water and use different kinds of boats and you can use the membership all around the state. I hear from ladies that belong to Freedom Boat Club and they're, they'll like drive up to Crystal River and get a boat. And oh boat yeah, I've used up. it in other states as well. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Every time I go on a vacation, I, I look for the Freedom Boat Club nearby. Yeah, that's what yeah, we, do. And we, yeah. we do have a, a local chapter program and they they meet and fish monthly so um contact me afterwards i can give you that they're independently operated um okay any more questions for jamie what's your name betty okay. yeah I'm, I'm the i i'm the one who started ladies let's go fishing we okay. have nine thousand graduates and it was like 25 years ago where the industry was saying, why are there not more women in the fishing? Yeah. And I said, I know why, because they want to learn and practice and have a chance to go fishing. So they feel like they're confident when they go on the boat. They don't want to go yeah. on the boat and have somebody screaming at them what to do. And they have yeah. no idea what it is or what they're saying. So we talk about the fishing term basics and um and the strategy so instead of being a robot taking orders and making sandwiches for everybody you you actually understand you know a little bit about why you're doing what you're doing because when you get on the boat and somebody more experienced takes you they're not going to take the time to explain why yeah. or what to do before it needs to be done yeah. i've had that happen yeah. Yeah. so um so you go in there um, with fishing and our seminars with the mindset of, this is my time to ask questions. This is my time to tie my own knots. So that if I get invited fishing, you don't have one person tying everybody's knots on and putting everybody's lures on. And they're like, oh, heck with it. I'll just go fishing by myself. Yeah. 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 So it's a team sport when you're on a boat. Everybody has a role. Even if you're not catching fish, you could be looking for signs like offshore. You could be look, looking for war birds when you get into the right deepest water um, um, and uh, looking for debris. You know, a piece of bamboo can produce a whole bait chain underneath that um, starts with bait and then bigger fish. And then you have dolphin and then under that you have wahoo and it just you know, it's just floating in the water. You know, it could be a two, three foot piece of bamboo that can change your whole fishing game. And the yep. captain can only see where their eyes are. And if you have mm -hmm. a boat, everybody can look at other things. And I always look where the captain's not looking. If he's looking ahead, left or right, I look, I look in a different direction so I can see things he might not be able to see. All right, okay. thank you. Any more questions for Jamie? All right, I need to sign off if there's not any more, but I've totally enjoyed it. Jamie, I have Thank a you. question. Yes, please go ahead. So about, uh, I'm also in Naples and the same Freedom Boat Club and we, we're fishing the channels, you know, like the, the intercoastal part, not the, we haven't graduated to the out part yet. What is the best type of lure to use in those channels? It's saltwater, so it's... Um, is it the mullet? Get or? your voodoo mullet. Yes. Get oh. you a three and a half inch voodoo okay. mullets. And in those channels, um, do you have any spillways that come up or is it just a clear channel? We oh. do. Have a, I think it's Kuwait and Island. Um, there's the, the, where the ocean is pulling in. Yes. Try the voodoo mullet. I, I can't say it enough. As a matter of fact, Fishing Franks ordered $4,000 worth today. Um, we also have bait and weight. Um, you can, I mean, I can't keep them in stock and they buy hundreds. So that's a great place locally to get it. Um, 
If you ever cannot find something, you can always email me and see if we've got a coupon going on. And we're hap I'd happy to give you a discount if we've got a current coupon that's happening. But Voodoo Mullet, Voodoo Mullet, Voodoo Mullet. Okay. Uh, color 100 is a Silver Streak, which is fabulous. And then the next colors, they only vary by one thin stripe on the back of the lure. It might, uh, like Sexy Mullet has a little bit of pink and blue. Uh, Moonlight has a little bit of yellow. All three of those are going to work great for you. We've got Injured, we've got Pinfish, Golden Croaker. So all of them mimic a bait fish, but uh, you're spot on. And if you don't catch one, call me and tell me you didn't catch one and I'll send you something else to try because I'm, I'm, I can't guarantee it, but I know you're going to catch fish with it. Yeah, we haven't been too successful, but we've been using shrimp, um, not the mullet, not the uh, voodoo shrimp, live shrimp, um, uh -huh. but we haven't been successful other types of bait, so. Well, give it a try. And uh, if any of you like scent, I didn't mention this earlier, but if you want to put a scent on any of your voodoo stuff, we do recommend Procure because it's all organic. Um, I advise washing it off when you're done because it can get kind of st sticky and gooey. But um, yeah, my husband loves to fish with, with mullet. He'll spend hours with the cast net and I, it's just tiring. Let's just tie this on and go. Um, so I understand, but please give it a try. I, yeah. I highly recommend that. Well, thank you. Thank you. Uh, Great question. Let me add yeah. something else too. I would always have some voodoo shrimp and, um, and the voodoo shrimp, you can drop it to the bottom and pull it up and make it look like shrimp and it's practice with it. You know, it's like, that looks like a shrimp moving. And then there's also, and I, I can't find one right now, but there's also like, um, popping corks. That you can put um, that make noise, all right? So they float and you put it on your line and then from the popping cork to the shrimp is usually the, the, the depth that you're fishing. So if it's two feet, you want two feet of line between your popping cork and your shrimp. And then what you do is you pull the rod. I'm gonna show a pen, let me, let me do this one second. So you have your, your rod, all right? So what you wanna do is jerk the rod. And what that does is that makes a noise on the popping cork. Um, we've got some that are called uh, blabbermouth by the fish grip. Uh, there's many of them. So when you pop it, all right, the shrimp kind of floats up, floats up and then goes back down, okay? So you pop it, the shrimp floats up and drops because that's what they do. They sort of jump and go back down, jump and go back down. And um, um, uh, that's, that's, just, that's just my, my two cents of, um, I think you should have both. I agree. Especially in the I... 10,000 islands for um, trout, um, even snook and redfish will bite on it. And if a big snook and redfish bites on it, you better hang on. <laughs> and I'll show so are there you. any other questions for me, Betty? Anybody else raise your hand? No, just one quick one. That um, yes. mullet that mullet we were just talking about, yes. um, what, what kind of um, hook does it have? Because I don't it, like those treble hooks. Well, the voodoo mullet does have the treble hook. They are the only one category in our line that have the treble hook. Uh, if you want, if you want to try one of the voodoo shad, they have a straight hook. I would recommend a three or a four inch voodoo shad. Um, and you may want to try a mambo. I don't, I don't sell a lot of mambo down further on the coast of Florida, not because it doesn't work. Mm -hmm. Baits have a natural fruition to go from one state to another as people start to discover and use it and so on and so on and so on. And so it doesn't have that big of a following yet, uh, but if you don't wanna use the treble hooks, you may wanna look at a voodoo shad instead uh, or just try your standard voodoo shrimp. There's the it's shad just, again. This is, what, yeah. this is what a small one looks like. This is what a yeah. three inch? That's a three inch, yes ma'am. Okay, cool. Maybe I need to learn how to get that hook out because I just, we throw them back usually. So it's just getting that out is like freaks me out. So it is, it is pair of pliers and glove. 
absolutely. Yeah. Let me add, we show how to use the hookers. It's a little U-shaped device like this. And yeah, I have um, one. Yeah. Yeah. And you take take your line and um you pull it tight to the hook and then you turn it upside down. It turns the hook upside down, nice and tight. And you yeah. give it a shake and the fish falls off. Um, it's, yeah. it's It looks like a, a piece of thick wire with a U shape. Yeah. And if it's a catfish, you don't want to touch. Sometimes I'll hook, I'll, 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 I'll move it this way to get the yeah. fish off without touching yeah. the fish. That's the one it's thing that's trick, stuff we but... teach at the, the seminar. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. You're very welcome. Okay, well, if nobody else has any questions, I'm going to let you guys visit among yourselves. I have some place I need to be in about 10 minutes, but it's been a pleasure. Thanks, thank Jamie. You. Thanks, Jamie. Thank you. Thank you. Everybody wave hi to Jamie. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Okay. Thank you also, the package that she has on our raffle is probably worth, I'm sure it's worth more than $50. Okay, let's now yeah, it's probably closer to a hundred. Do you have the winner? No, we're gonna do that next. Um, I know okay. you're leaving, but I have um a random drawing. We're gonna give away some things right now, and that's one of the prizes. So um, so whoever wins this is a very lucky person because you're talking a hundred dollars worth and they would last a really long time. So thanks, Jamie and Eager. Welcome. Where can they find your website? egretbaits.com. Well, thank you. And everybody, we have some egret baits we're going to have on our fundraisers throughout the year, too. So if you don't get the package tonight, you'll have other chances. All right. Okay, well, thank, thank you, me. ladies. Betty, thank send me you. that winner tomorrow and we'll get it shipped right out. Okay. <laughs> Bye. 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 Thanks, Jamie. All right. We're going to continue on. I'm going to talk about our sponsors a minute because they make, uh, I'm going to do a screen share. Um, they make ladies let's go fishing possible. And then we're going to do a raffle. Uh, Brian Leibowitz was going to come tonight and I have not heard why, or, you know, if he's having trouble logging in or what, but um, if we can do another one in another time and record it on Facebook, um, we will do that. But um, ladies, let's go fishing. You know, what we do to defray the cost so the ladies don't really um, pay what it really is. Uh, let's see. Oh, I'm not sharing it yet. Okay. Can you all see the shares? Can you see the sponsors? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah, so we have Mercury and then RBFF Take Me Fishing, a great source for people getting into fishing and vamos a pescar for Spanish. Shearwater Boats, we have a beautiful um, uh, 250 XTE and has tacos next to it. Outriggers, taco outriggers. The outriggers expand out your, your fishing exposure. Um, so that instead of fishing the narrow highway, you're fishing the big one. Um, Magic Tilt Trailers, you, you depend on your trailer to get you to where you're going. Um, get quality. Fish Florida, they have a license plate tag that you can buy and the money goes back to conservation and education. So it's Fish, Fish Florida. Um, um, all the links to the websites are on our website. Uh, pen, we're going to give away a pen tonight. Buy quality, only pay for it once. Florida Fish and Wildlife Foundation. Support them. They um, they are the future of fishing and wildlife in Florida. Power Pole, they make a shallow water anchor and a whole bunch of other accessories that the shallow water anchor goes, um, um, you click a button and it goes down on your boat and you don't have to throw an anchor and it's quiet. So you're not scaring away all the fish. It's a pole that goes in the water. Uh, Lawrence Electronics, Freedom Boat Club. I already talked about how cool they are. And uh, we have two ladies here that uh, belong to it. And we have Sunglass. We have Costa and Smith, Frog Togs Gear, Seaguar, AFCO, CCA Florida Star. That's a tournament that runs Memorial to Labor Day. And you can fish whenever you want and, and win prizes. And they even have random prizes. Um, Hubbard's Marina. 
uh, Bob the Jackplate and Future Angler Foundation. Um, remember, you're an invasive species, and they are very active in keeping um, keeping our waters safe. So I'm going to stop this share right now. Okay. So now we're going to get to our uh, giveaway. And the way the giveaway works, and it's perfectly random, is um, I do, and that's why I ask people to buy raffle tickets by 3.30 p.m. the day of the event, because I have to take your names and I'm going to, hold on one second, give me one second. I'll share it one second. Okay, so I'm going to show you um, what it looks like. Let me share the screen. Give me one second. Hold on. Share screen. Okay, so it has run the giveaway. And then I have, like, say for Rachel, you got eight tickets. Each one is a separate line. So you can win more than once. Robin bought 12 tickets. Robin Kruger, um, Rachel Lopez bought some tickets. So each, um, each name has an individual listing for each number. Okay. All right. Uh, before I do that, I got to, let me uh, suck it in. Okay, I'm gonna, um, all right, I didn't share yet. Let me talk about what we're giving away, all right? The first prize is Smith Optics Crusader. And Smith Optics has polarized and special chromopop lens designed to see beneath the surface of the water. And um, this is the Crusader. You all saw it when you got your raffle tickets, okay? And Smith Optics is a good quality pair of sunglasses. Um, don't buy cheap sunglasses. You need to buy um, good quality. So the polarization and the special lenses will help you see beneath the surface of the water. Okay, this one is Costa Del Mar, and this is called Water Woman. And you know, there are different lenses. Um, blue polarized is good for offshore or, you know, all kinds of those things. Plus it looks hot. Um, green is good for inshore. Brown is good for multiple things. And they have this 580G special lenses. Um, I believe these are glass lenses. If it says 580G, that means they're glass. Yeah, they're more expensive. Um, they've refined glass lenses so that they don't weigh hardly any more than polycarbonate. And the difference is with glass lenses, with glass lenses, um, they don't scratch. Sometimes I put my sunglasses end up in my purse and I'm too lazy to put it in the, um, or I don't have the space in my purse to put the um, protective casing that it comes with. And then you choose from that one for Costa only. You have a choice, either that one or salt break. If you want wraparounds, this is salt break. Okay, and um, we'll give you the chance. Um, I think this is tortoise with blue lens. Okay, so that's the sunglasses. You know about egret. And then the other raffle item today is, let's see, there we go. It's a pen, 2,500, two piece. Now I have my virtual background, so it's kind of hard to show. Maybe if I back up a little bit. Kind of um, flickering, but you saw it on there. What's nice about it, it's got blue accents and it's a two piece rod. So if you're, if you've got to go somewhere and put it in your car, you can take it apart. Or if you're flying, you know what I mean? This will fit in your overhead bin and it's two pieces. And that's the beauty of that. And this is more of like an inshore setup. Okay, so now you know what it is, and I'm going to share the screen for our raffle. 
Okay, so you all see this the screen share, right? Okay, so the first one we're going to do is Smith Optics Crusader, and it's totally random. So I'm going to do, I'm going to run around, and the winner is Marianne Deneen. She signed up for this um, virtual meeting, but I don't see her. She's from Fort Myers. You know, what's really cool is we have ladies from like Maryland and, and um, Colorado and Georgia on this. So she won the Smith Optics. The next one is the choice of Costa, Salt Break or Water Woman. And I'm gonna do the next round, Kathy Seeger. Kathy, congratulations. Are you, you still here with us? All right, she was on the- um, Yes, I am, thank you. Oh, congratulations. Where are you from again, Kathy? Thank you. Punta Gorda. Punta Gorda. Yeah, on the Gulf. Okay, do you know which one you want? Um, uh, can I see them again? Can you hold them both up? Yeah, or you can go back on when you bought your raffle tickets because everybody, I, I need your address. Or also what I want you to do is if you're taking a seminar, tell me that. And that will that that way I can um I can just bring it for you. Okay. And Kathy, which are you taking which seminar? Um that should be the Fort Myers one. But okay. I don't have it all signed up for yet. So you may not have saw it yet. But... This is salt break. Okay. okay. This is water woman. That's the one I like, water woman. Okay, and I'll bring you to Fort Myers for you. Okay. Okay, so next, see how this is fair? I love this, all right? So next is for the pen wrap, W-R-A-T-H, the two-piece reel. And then the last one's gonna be the Egret Bates package. Rachel Lopez, congratulations. Sorry, I gotta write these down so I don't forget. So I don't think Rachel's here. Are you here, Rachel? Okay. All right. And last is the Egret Brave, Egret Bates. That's our last round. Robin Kruger. Oh, she's gonna love this. Okay. And then that's it for the prizes. Um just just uh, just for kicks, I always put a couple extra rounds to see what who would have been next. But we have there's no prize, but I'm just doing this. Okay, so Rachel, you would have won again. That would be Rachel number one, her first entry. The next would have been Marianne Deneen, her second entry. And just for kicks. And then it would have been Carol and Fordham. And that's her second one. It has a number two, like that means that's the second entry. That means the first one is down there somewhere. If you look and see, it's all very fair. Okay, so I'm going to stop sharing there. And, okay. So um, for any of the Ladies Let's Go Fishing events, you can go to ladiesletsgofishing.com and you can sign up. Um, uh, so I'm going to close the meeting but uh, and stop the recording and stop the Facebook feed and leave it open for anybody that wants to talk to each other. So I'm gonna stop the live stream on Facebook now and thank you for Facebook fan fans for hanging in there. I'm gonna stop that. Um, okay, so let me, okay, let me stop, I'm going to stop the recording.